What's up YouTube, JP here. So today we're gonna to be doing some service on the Jaguar F-Type R. We are gonna be using a Harbor Freight oil extractor. Um, I wanna say I paid like 99 bucks for this thing. It's awesome. Um, so on the Jaguar, pretty simple process. You could get under the car, you could pull the underskirt off and drain it from the normal drain plug. However, Jaguar, knowing that this car sits very low and there's a lot of panels to pull off, went ahead and put an extraction straw in the oil filler tube. So let's take you around and we'll show you how to hook this up. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your oil cap off here. And as you can see down inside here, there's your extraction straw right there. It's just sticking right up in the middle there. So you're gonna take your oil extractor, you're gonna hook your hose up, right over that straw like that. And you're just gonna give yourself some good pumps till you get the oil flowing. There you go, you see the oil going down. Then every couple, about every minute or two, come give this thing a couple extra pumps just to maintain the vacuum on it. And this is how JP gets jacked. <laughs> so when it comes to parts for any European vehicle, um, I also own a Mercedes, um, I like to use fcpeuro.com. Super fast shipping, they know what they're talking about. It's oils and quality of oils, it's liquid molly specifically made like for the Jaguar here specifically made for the Jaguar Land Rover um, the kit comes with your oil filter comes with all the oil you need the Jaguar takes I believe 7.7 .7 quarts which is like 7.2 liters so it even comes with I believe is in the box here. Even comes with a brand new drain plug, but on this particular one, the Jaguar, we're gonna do the extraction. I usually like to change the drain plug underneath about every other oil change. So I don't know where I set the drain plug. Oh, here it is for you. There you go, it's right on the back brand new factory Jaguar drain plug so I think it's 170 bucks shipped from FCP Euro I'm not affiliated with them I am not sponsored by them however I'm very happy I've been using their products on the Jaguar since I've owned it very happy with everything they do While the extractor is doing its thing, we can go ahead and we remove your supercharger cover here. Just pull straight up. Your oil, oil filter is right here, right on top. So, real easy to get to. We're gonna go ahead and grab a tool to go ahead and get this off. As you can see, it is a Ford Motor Company because this motor is partially Ford. So I use just a regular oil filter wrench, works really well on these things. So you're gonna just go ahead and get it centered there and get your oil filter broke free until it's loose enough to do by hand. There you go. I like to let it sit for a little bit so it can drain into the housing 
without making a mess all over the engine. So we'll let it sit there and drain for a minute and we'll continue on. So we can see we're about quarter of the way up here. We're gonna add just probably three to five pumps. And then we're gonna leave it and let it continue. All right, this should be pretty well drained into the housing so you're not dripping too, too much. Grab yourself a rag so you don't spill it. We'll come over here. Make sure our filters match. So it just pops out. Being that I get all my stuff from the same place every time. You can see my part numbers are the same. Molly 0x774. So we know that that's good. So we can go ahead and set this back in there. There's going to be two flat tabs. Make sure they line up. There you go. Once you get that oil filter placed in there, you want to go ahead. The new filter will come with a, a cap seal. Go ahead and get yourself a pick or a screwdriver, whatever you got. Then pull this guy off and disregard it. Have a new one here. And roll it down, get it into its proper groove all the way around. There you go. I like to use a little bit of the residue oil to kind of lube up that seal so it doesn't pinch as it goes in. And now we'll go place it back in. There should be a little residual oil still in the cap area. Take your finger, you can kind of lube up all your O-rings a little better. There you go. I'm going to place it down. Super simple process. Go ahead and just finish tightening that down. And then you're not going to go over... It's got a torque spec of 25 Newton meters, so don't go over that. I usually just go a little bit hand tight, just kind of until it feels snug, and that's always good enough. All right, guys, we're getting close, so what we're gonna do, you're gonna look for air. When it's done, you're gonna look for air traveling through this hose. That'll let you know that the oil pan is empty, so right now we still got a pretty steady stream, but we should be getting really close here. There it goes. You can see it, you can hear it. There you go, see how it's shaking? So now it's starting to pull air, which means the bottom's empty. I like to give it a couple more good pumps just to make sure I get all the chrome from the bottom. And we just let that pressure finish and then we'll get to filling it. Find yourself a funnel. Don't worry if you, the funnel goes around the straw because the straw leads right back down to the oil pan. So the oil is all gonna go in the same place. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our five liters first. It's five liters. Six liters. Seven liters. All right, liter wise, it's about 7.2, 7.25. So we're gonna have, here's your liter marks here. You have nine of them. So if you figure you're gonna go with probably about two and a half roughly. Maybe down to the third one. Just take your time. One, two, I'm gonna go down a little more. Okay, so we're still a little high. One, two. So 
So there you go. You're about one, two, three. One, All right, two. you guys. So here we are. So it started at nine, eight, seven, six. So there's about three. Um, this isn't divided to tenths. This is divided into ninths. So that should be right on the money. So um, this is what I did last time. I had no issues, no low oil lights or anything like that. So that's about where you want to be. All right, so resetting the maintenance light on the Jaguar is kind of a strange process. It sounds hocus pocus, but the bonnet, the hood, needs to be open. The driver's door needs to be open. However, there's a sequence of doing it. So you got to close it all back down. So we're going to close the hood. We're going to close the door. I'm going to get inside the car. We're going to key on the ignition. We're going to pop the hood, open the door, hold the gas pedal and the brake pedal down at the same time until the system resets. All right, you guys. So car, everything's closed. No foot on the brake, no foot on the gas. You're going to give Turn the ignition to all the way on. One, all your lights should be on. You're gonna pop your bonnet. You're gonna open your door and you're gonna hold the gas and brake pedal down until the system resets.